Hey up me ducks, it's Simon here. I hope everybody's had a great week. We're at the weekend almost. Um, and I've come home to a lovely, lovely surprise. So, um, as many of you will know, it was my birthday a couple of weekends ago and my lovely Dee Dee sent me a message saying that uh, they had posted um, a gift for my birthday and they hoped it got in, here in time. Well, looking at the label, I think it's been halfway around the globe um, and it arrived today and oh, that's the card. I mean, I just love that, look at that card. Uh, another wonderful trip around the sun. I won't read what was inside because uh, it's a it's a personal message, but yeah, the gorgeous sun. And some crystals, I love this smoky quartz. It's absolutely gorgeous, make sure I've got some uh, light on it. So this is a lovely piece of smoky quartz. My favourite crystal, which is malachite. Love it. So I've got some malachite. And then as you know, I've got a couple of different styles, different types of desert rose. And there's a little diddy. <laughs> Look at that. Little diddy desert, desert rose that was also in the package. So yeah, I'll just put some of these little stones there. But I couldn't believe it. And as soon as I opened it and I saw this design, I knew exactly what deck this was. And as it says in the title, this has really been a, a unicorn deck for me because it was released over two years ago. Um, and I really wanted to get it. And as I've mentioned before, if you buy overseas, obviously the price of the deck doubles because you've got shipping and import taxes and uh, custom charges and all that kind of stuff. So it's it has to be a deck that I really, really want. And this was one of those decks that I really, really wanted. And then I went to get it because it is actually in Europe. It was by a company called Kismet, Kismet. And when I got to the checkout, it said, sorry, we do not ship to the, G, uh, to, to the GB is what it said um and i was just gutted because i understood that when we came out of the eu countries like the states um were being hit with charges to send to us but not necessarily from europe so i just kind of resigned myself to the fact that i'm not going to get this deck because you know the only other way if it if it happens when it's in the states I've got people in the States that would, you know, ship for me if I uh, sorted everything out. Uh, but this would have been a case of shipping from Europe to America and then America back to England. And so I just thought, well, it's a deck that I probably will never have. And I've just got to, to live with that. So imagine my surprise when uh, I opened my package and the deck uh, from our our L, my DD, um, was this deck. So as you can see, it's Tarot of the Holy Spectrum, uh, Spectrum created by Chase Voorhees. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Uh, and this is the first edition, first printing, 2020. So uh, three years now. I knew it was definitely over uh, two years ago. Um, nice very sturdy two-part box. I love the simplistic design. You know, it's just a black box with this uh, infinity symbol here. And what I loved about this deck, I don't know if it was the same with other editions, but certainly the first edition is just this plain black uh, backs for the cards. Um, I wish more creators, uh, and I know people say, well, they, they stain easily with fingerprints and stuff like that but i think there was a, an edition maybe a first edition of dreams of gaia as well which had a plain plain back it's certainly not the editions uh that i've had um but yeah cardstock is absolutely and this is um this is a plain card um at the back but it's this beautiful uh matte finish but very silky and it's just, it feels so luxurious. It's its a gorgeous cardstock. I think it's a standard tarot size. Um, yeah, so same as uh, US Games, MPC, standard tarot size. Um, 
and it's borderless the cards are borderless as you can see there's uh, i mean it's called the holy spectrum because it's this spectrum of colors as well but the artwork in this deck is is gorgeous i d did hold a copy of this in my hands so when i went to glastonbury not last year um but the year before or was it even the year before that it might have been 2020 actually um it was it was 2020 uh, just after the first lockdown when they opened a few hotels up temporarily before we went into a second lockdown. Myself, Sandra and Elle met up in Glastonbury and we all took some of our favourite decks. And Elle brought this deck with them and I was able to uh, to have a look at it in person. I was like, yeah, I love this. I really love this. This is right up my street as, as a tarot deck. Anyway. Without further ado, let's bring the camera down and have a look at this deck. It's not a new deck. It's not new out on the market. I don't even know if it's available anymore. If I remember, I will uh, insert here whether it's out of print or whether it's still in stock. So anyway, let's, let's bring the camera down and let's take a closer look. All right, so of course we're starting off with our full card, card zero, um, and here we've got a full. Uh, I love the night sky, um, and it really does give that sense of that, you know, that leap of faith, that step off into the abyss, uh, but focused on this lemnus gate here, this infinity symbol. Um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. I love just the splash of colour. The only colour in the, in this card is the uh, the lemnus fit. Here's our magician, which is in the uh, monochrome colours with red. Gorgeous. I love how this is kind of coming down all the way through. It's almost like bringing in like Reiki energy or something through the crown chakra, coming all the way out through the opened palms of the hand, you know, really channeling that energy here. And it's going from the hands into the magician's tools to use that focus, becoming a conduit. The high priestess, look how faint she is. I'm hoping if, uh, yeah, that's it, that's... But it's like, um, almost like an artist sketch, isn't it? Let's bring the light there. Um, you know, like in a sketch pad or something like that. And then we've got this pomegranate here that's the only bit of uh, colour. But it's really clever and she's beautiful. Our empress in a field of flowers. Looks like she's... Um, blowing something out the palm of her hand. She's, her dress and everything is a part of the landscape. She's very much Mother Earth, isn't she? She's very much part of nature, a part of her surroundings. Here's our emperor. I love the purple cloud in the background. The Hierophant. Interesting, look, the supplicants in the Hierophant card, if I turn it this way, you'll see them more clearer. Oh, I love this deck. I'm so excited to be working with it. Ah, fantastic. The lovers, love it. It's almost, uh, it's almost like you imagine this being a mirror and it's a mirror image, which is really interesting when we think of the lover's card because there's a, a common kind of misconception really that it's just about, um, you know, partners, sexual relationships, romantic relationships, which to me that's more about the two of cups, but the lover's is starts with ourself really. Chariot. This card reminds me of a bit like the a card from the slow ho slow holler slow holler tarot. That's right. It doesn't sound right when I just said that. 
slow holler. <sighs> Gorgeous. I mean, me and purple, I love purple. And these images work really well together. That actually, um, it, a lot of the images, the, the people in the cards actually look like it could be um, the same person. I mean, look at that. Could be the same person. Um, there is no guidebook, uh, unless you can buy one separately uh, that I'm not aware of, but it doesn't come with a book. It's just the cards. Here's the hermit, love this hermit, love the perspective of looking from behind and seeing the direction of travel and this mountain and the moon and again the night sky gorgeous and is illuminating the way and we have somebody probably again i think it's potentially the same it's the uh, the continuation of the fall on the journey through the major arcana the wheel here representing the elements look at that for the justice card Wow. The hanged one, though it's right way up. Death is phenomenal. I love this. Um, I, and I'm not gonna talk about it, but I've got a personal connection with this, uh, what this image is depicting, shall we say. Um, and, and all I will say, you know, is, um, no, it, no, I'm not even going to, because I don't know who's gonna watch this video, but this kind of just laying down, um, exposed to the elements, but, you know, almost like, after death, the decay and becoming a part of the earth, you know, just laying down amongst these flowers and the new life that flowers represent from seeds into blossoming into something else really brings this card to life for me. You know, the with an ending comes a beginning. Um, but it's it's like they just took themselves to a spot and lay down, you know. Definitely the same, uh, the same character. Again, I love these kind of um, shadowy images made up of these dots and holding the, the black cup as opposed to the white cup here, just working together in unison. <laughs> I've heard, heard mention before of the devil card and uh, who it actually depicts. And I don't necessarily think it's trying to depict anybody from popular culture but i love devil cards like this though it you know i remember the first time i got the sasarabito tarot and i saw the devil card and i thought yeah do you know what the devil doesn't have to be a baphomet type devil um you know the devil is somebody who entices somebody who um if you're not careful, can lead you into feeling trapped, uh, lead you into bondage, imprisonment, and that could be anyone. I love the green in this card. This is the tower card, obviously, the tower card. Very traditional, but I love, I love the green. Here's the star, I just think this is so beautiful. Such a gorgeous card. And of course the reflection of the stars in the still water. She's making a few ripples here, but just kind of stargazing, but through the reflection. Here's the moon. It's interesting, isn't it? The animals, we've got the, uh, the wolf kind of barking at the moon. But we've also got a horse and a deer or a stag. She's just sitting there on the boat. We've got the three paths for, for each of the animals given between the two mountains. 
And that's a perfect depiction of the moon, isn't it? With its three main craters that we see. The sun, she's resting on the back of the horse. And then we have the Awakening rather than the Judgment card. And it's almost like, okay, you know, through life we've, we've been blindfolded and then we get to our final uh, judgment for the Awakening. But it's like we can suddenly see, we see things more clearly. Maybe we see our lives, maybe we see our past mistakes or even, you know, the good that we've done, whatever it is, where our eyes are open to a greater um, knowledge than what we have here. The world, love it. You know, then again, we've got an ending, but a beginning. After the awakening, we inherit the world. And then we've got other elements here from, from cards, like the lion from the strength card, the scales from the justice card, etc. And the journey continues from the beginning to the end. Gorgeous. And then you'll see with the miners, they, they have a little bit of a different style. And um, this one is less um, black and white with splashes of colour like we see in the uh, majors. Um, but, you know, I love them. So for our miners, we're starting with the swords and we've got this very powerful, strong grip, you know, holding the, the sword high in you see kind of these beautiful, oh, the colours are just stunning in this deck. The two, quite a traditional, I love that the uh, the moon is being eclipsed or, you know, part, what, what do they call them? Waxing, waning. <laughs> I should really learn more about the moon. Uh, but the blindfolded person here holding the, the swords. The three of swords. So here we get the three swords going through the heart, but it's the literal heart within the body. We've got these kind of comic book type um, lightning flashes here, the rain, the clouds. And we're used to seeing in the RWS, you know, a heart that's pierced with three and we see the rain and, and everything. The Four of Swords. Wow. Wow. That's a powerful image with the three headstones. But the rest in there taking place. Love this perspective. I mean, isn't that incredible? The six. We're looking at the boat from above. We don't usually see it from this position. But it looks like, almost like they're having to break ice. This looks like frozen water and really having to, you know, force the way through. It might not be, but that's how it's uh, coming across to me. Love this. We've got this beautiful, vivid yellow. Almost like the yellows that we see in the background of like the full card in the RWS. Um, and then almost this silhouette with the blue swords. Quite a traditional eight, uh, but again, it's all of the mind. It's not an imprisonment, this is, you could just walk forward. I love the colour combination of the clouds and the sky. Our nightmare card for the nine, love the orange. And the ten. taken me a while to kind of see what this is. I mean, it's clearly, well, I'm saying clearly, it's not clear, but I'm assuming it's a body of some sort, but my eyes aren't picking out the image. We had the Page of Swords. Look at that for the night. Oh, I love this deck. Queen. 
and the king. Wow. Obviously, what he's got to say needs to be amplified. We have our Ace of Wands. The two. Actually in the boat. Three. I feel like there's only two, but it's just there in the back. Again, love it. Love the bright yellow, the silhouette. <laughs> the four. Five. Really tangled here. Six. Seven. Wow, look at that. She tried to climb the hill that he stood on. And it looks like he's going to push him down. Eight. Love the little sprouts, the little, yeah, coming off them. Nine. Ten, that heavy burden, the arm is cradling them all together and carrying them. Love the colour, this colour is beautiful. Our page, knight and queen, and our king. And then we have the pentacles. Look at this, real close up of this uh, pentacle. And then there's a little, because ev the, the pentacles are the beginnings, aren't they? Whether that's a thought, um, whatever it is, it's, it's that start. And here we've got this little, little uh, sapling, I suppose. Just pushing up, finding its way, starting out. I love it and all when you see uh, little shrubs, little sprouts coming up. Um, sometimes they're in the most, because nature just always finds its way. You know, it could be between the crack of a pavement or in some places where you'd never expect to see it. It's incredible. Two. This is very much about, you know, the, the material world, isn't it? The, the everyday life. Look at that. Oh, look at this. This is an incredible, incredible deck. This is ironic, isn't it? Uh, so you can see what's happening here. So is is digging for treasure. That's what's on his mind, you know, to find these these five coins, if you like. And with the earth that is dug out and piled up here, that's it's actually there. So it's where where your mind's at, what what you're focusing on, you know, look around you. Oh wow, look at this. And again, you know, it's that offering that, that the hands are outstretched and the discernment to who gets what. I love this as well. This looks like a cherry blossom tree. Really powerful. Eight, nine, a little bird, and it's a heat. Ten, look at that. All sat round to have dinner. We have our page. 
looks, looks almost green on camera and it's, it, it's a yellow, bright vivid yellow. Look at this. And our final suit is the club suit. This is a, a human face. It took me a second to actually see that. The Two of Cups. Again, it's a, it's an embrace, but it, I don't know if you can see clearly. Put the light back. It's this kind of almost like a ethereal being. This kind of it's made up of these little dots and dashes. But I love that, that, that tender, warm embrace. I wish there was a book with this. I have to do some research as to whether there is or why there isn't. I'd love to hear the artist's thoughts in creating these, these images, because they're, they're so powerful. Look at that. I'm just thinking because the six of cups when we think of like the nostalgia, it's, it's a photograph, isn't it? I was trying to work out. I know there was a hand here, but perhaps looking back to a time when life was more carefree the little teddy there. Seven, there's choices, but it's the, the, the confusion and things that it causes. Eight. Nine, interesting take on the nine. And the 10, oh wow, made up of kind of the constellations. And then we have our page. Wow, look at that, walking out to sea. Queen and the king. What a fantastic deck. I knew it would be. Um, again, a deck I never thought I would own, so Al, if you do watch this, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you made an old man very happy. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, if you're watching this and you have this deck, let me know how you work with it and how you get on with it. I know not all of the images are aligned to a system that you might be familiar with. A lot are. Um, but some will be, I think, quite, not necessarily challenging, but would require you to uh, sit with the images and really take it in because just doing a walkthrough like this, I'm getting kind of the first hits, but I'm also mindful that the longer I sit with images, which I'm always conscious of doing when I'm doing a walkthrough because I never want videos to be uh, so long, but I could tell the longer I sit with them, the more things I'm seeing and the more things I'm feeling, you know, and it, it kind of um, hits you on a visceral, um, how I have that sort of visceral reaction uh, to the images. It's a powerful deck <clears throat> and I'm, I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled to have it in my collection. So, all right, thank you for watching everybody. I will be back tomorrow for a couple of catch up and cards. Um, I've broken up from work now for a week and I'm going to Glastonbury for my annual pilgrimage. <laughs> uh, and I'm going for five nights, so I'm really excited. And I was trying to decide what deck to take with me. And now I know I'm gonna take Tarot of the Holy Spectrum. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, go in peace, namaste, and blessed be.